That is the diamond referred to in the letter, which means that King Bullard wrote that blackmail, that letter in order to blackmail you. <laughs> order in the court. Um, order, I say. Seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Troit. Uh oh, I don't like the way you said that. Kane Bullard blackmailing Luke at me? Are you for real? Yes, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. Yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatened to make Luke... Luke got me his identity public knowledge. An identity you wanted to keep secret. So just what was that identity? Had me killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity you wanted to keep secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity Luke got me wanted so desperate to keep his secret identity was. Master Mask. Luke got me was Master Mask. That's my line. Ah, oh, goddammit. What's that supposed to mean? That's my line, too. Listen up, you, you. This is what we've been saying up until this point. The witness pretended to be Mask and Master in order to pin the murder on the defendant. Well, he can be both. In which case, you want to insist up to the be on the day you die. Now, Rondeloy was, in fact, Master Mask. I must say, this sudden change of heart doesn't reflect well on you. Fuck off. What what? Come on, Nick, wasn't Mr. Delight the one who was actually... Oof. Okay, I'll try thinking about this game. Because the other options are good. Like, what, he's a blackmailer? So? Who gives a fuck if he knows that? An ace detective, he already proclaims that. All of these are kind of like just stupid, but... Blackmailer? Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection. I don't see what... I know. Isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? Like, I just don't understand why he'd kill someone because he's a fucking blackmailer? Really? You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. Are you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? You have to admit, that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Okay. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But Rondelay was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So did you just restart? Okay, um. Just a few days after the tier of a mom heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from some very, yet kind of, very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Detailed plans. In which case, that would mean that Rondelay was actually Master Mask. This is what you what we we are claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mister Delight steal the targets his targets for him. And that someone was none other than other than Luke at me. Silence. Ah. No, I see. It's all becoming clear. What is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? How did you... You say that I look at me was blackmailing Rondelight. In which case, I would naturally all know all about his relations to Master Mask. Yes. Rondelight started receiving plans from the second crime onward, correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed the first crime. Good point. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. 
during the first crime. How did Luke at me know that Rondelite Light was Mister was Master Mask? Uh, wait. He just gave it paper clipping. Yeah, because he was there. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same record po report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief, trying to be the center of attention. What do you mean? This newspaper clipping. There's a picture of you and Ron Delight in this guardian, his guard uniform. It seems that Master Mask didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in the bucket. Th that sounds far too stupid to be true. Does he look smart? Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Adney. That's when you learned that under his mask, Master Mask was really Ron Delight. <laughs> what the? Wasn't he supposed to be Master Mask? Not only that, it looks like he wasn't even an ace detective. I can't believe it. He was a slimy blackmailer. What a fraud. Trying to pass himself off as an ace detective. Why, you? How dare you expose me like that? Why, I, I mean, I've never blackmailed someone in my life. I'm a famous and proud ace detective and also Master Mask. Why can't you understand that? I'm afraid you're neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmail and a murderer. That is your true identity. Why, you? How dare you even dare? Could I oh, love you? I'm not trying to do it. Really, what the fuck? I'd say none of you can compare to my genius. You really are just jealous. So go on, discriminate and commemorate there. Ace detective cannot die. Blackmail or murder threats. Nothing. It's enough to make me one laugh. It seems we've finally gotten the real answer. That was quite a performance by Mr. Atme. Bailiff, uh, please prepare yourself for Mr. Atme. Objection! Please stop. The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. What, what do you mean? I am already prepared to deliver my sentence. I will be the one to judge. You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws aren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. Where do you... It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke at me was a filthy blackmailer. And that he wasn't a lordly tailor the night of the murder. That's right, that's why he's the one who killed Mr. Bull. But... There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this... That this pitiful excuse for a man was at KB Security... And I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No way! Order in the court. Well, Mr. Wright, this is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Mr. That Abney was at Mr. Bowler's office that night. But can you really prove that? That's long enough, Mr. Wright. I want to hear your answer. That night, Luke Abney was at KB Security in the defense. Uh, can prove it? The defense can prove it. With evidence. Are you sure? Huh. Don't you worry, I'll watch over you. As you break down and fall to pieces. Very well then, let's see some proof. Prove that Admi was at the crime. Um... Just try this. This is the proof. Of course not. It's true that is very important. However, I'm not so foolish to think that would pass for proof here. Mr. Trite, it's time you learned the true light flavor of life. 
the flavor of my special Gado blend number 49. Oh, Mr. Right? It's bitter. Very bitter. Oh, well, look, I'm fucking great. I can't. I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But if we hear more of this, uh, uh, Detective Abby's. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Trite. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten Luke Abney is here after we interrupted his own trial? And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilty verdict as mass to mass. No. Well now, sir lawyer, it seems the joy, the love wins out in the end after all. I am the ace detective as well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ronda Lights will verify that he's the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my detective, uh, my ace detectiveness. Order in the court. That's enough de de deliberation over the witness. I can't believe this if the story Ron is. Don't give up now, Nick. We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence. But then it will be too late. Huh? Why? Double jeopardy. One of the basic rules of any court with law. Double jeopardy. Should a defendant be tried and found innocent in court, the defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime. Obviously. It's a fundamental rule of all of the courts. It's also in the Constitution. It applies to the witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Ami will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as mask to mask. Which means... He will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bullard is concerned. No, you don't hand down a verdict. No way. The fact that you are unable to prove Mr. Ami's guilt of that crime here means that you will never be again be tried as Kane and Bullard's murder. Uh, he's, but he's not being tried for it, though. Now there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is uh, proclaimed to be innocent. The real killer, Luke Abney, will go free. I mean, we have he hasn't had murder charges brought up against him. We've only been questioning him. That's like saying, oh, you can't be questioned more than once on one thing. He's not being tried for being a murderer. Oh, whatever. That's not how this works. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. And as long as there is no more testimony, I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questions of this witness. Are there any objections? I hereby end cross-examination of Luke Adley. Thank you, Mia. I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were in a child, you were in a child. This is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. How did you, Phoenix? Raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. That voice. No way. Long time no see, Phoenix. And it is always good to see you. Mia! It's the true power of the Korean channeling technique. I know that it's really Maya who's standing before me, but right now she's my mentor, Mia Faye. Now let's do this. But there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more... Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine. Not yet, the testimony is not over yet. What do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Yes, that's true, bud. Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. 
Earlier, after the last cross-examination, this witness made a few number of remarks. Ned Love points out after I'm the ice detective. My verdict will verify that, just as Ron Delight told that he's the true murderer. I declare that with the full ace detectiveness. Yes, but those comments appear to have no importance whatsoever. Very well, then we shall prove their importance by a cross-examination. At any rate, as long as the witnesses made these remarks, we, the defense, assert our right to question them. Is that all right with you, prosecutor? Is something the matter, Mr. Godot? Oh, mm, mm, no, nothing. Oh, sir, lawyer, it looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehoods will do anything to me, j Luke, at let's hear it. Huh? It's true that the witness uh, made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of cross-examination. Mr. Godot, what are you? What are you? Very well then, look at me. I'll allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why you declared the victim the tr the defendant the true murderer. So please give us one last bit of testimony. Well, because it's not me. That's why I said he that he's the murderer. Oh yeah. Phoenix, this is it. This is our la absolute last chance. Yes, Chief. Indeed, it is true that I was not a Lordly Taylor. I had to leave to see about a r another vitally important job request. I had known about the day beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing the master mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. In the blackmail letter, the victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Zavari. Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. The witnesses' earlier remarks do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All this point says has been explained, and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course. Uh, how did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly through me. I always look over the documents. It's elementary, uh, sir lawyer. <sighs> Are you going to make a, even more trouble for us now, Sir Lawyer? I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. We cannot postpone Luke at Me's trial any longer. This is your last chance. Hang on a sec. Just one chance? Huh. <laughs> Seems that the party is about to begin. Well, Mr. Well, Phoenix, there isn't any evidence that contradicts with the testimony, so it seemed. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix, pointing out contradictions. Doesn't mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. Cup number 17, the last cop. Seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. I have to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony, and I need to point it out without presenting evidence. Which means all I can do is find the contradictory remark and press it. Remember, you only get one chance. Fuck. Well then, Mr. Wright, please begin your cross final cross-examination. I'm gonna hit that save real quick, because fuck going through all of this. Okay, you can't press on that. I had to lead to see that another bit. We can't press on that. He'll make something happen, then we're fucked. Uh, can't press on that. That he just that just leads into these. Which 
only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? How do you know he was wearing his outfit? Mr. Ami, about this last remark, there's no reason he would be wearing it if Kane Bullard already knew who he was. Objection! You still don't get it, do you, Trite? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. I'm afraid you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. What? Mr. Adme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. How can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Adme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit. Is that correct? Indeed! That's what I said. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. I'm sorry, what do you mean? For some reason, I'm staring at starting to get really thirsty. When exactly did we learn the fact that Rhonda Light was dressed at, uh, uh, was dressed as Master Mask when he went to the cri scene of the crime? That was, um, it was just a few hours ago. Back when my sixth cop was looking at me with a cold stare. Oh, did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. That's right, the defendant had yet to tell anyone else of this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should know of those are with this are those who had been watching this trial. <sighs> Do you understand now, Detective Atme? There's no way that you should have known about that. Ah! You are in the next courtroom being tried as Master Master, then enlighten us. Just how did you know about that piece of information? Er, well... Come on, this detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. When? And to those chances that I wanted to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his Master Mask outfit. There's one and only one way for Detective Abney to have found that out. Only one? One way, you say? Please remember, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. For a second, my client witnessed the real killer. But Mr. Delight never saw him. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Luke Adam. It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. Just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now if you turn that statement around, it stands to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Impossible. Detective Atme, you saw Master Mask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have w known that Ron wa what Ron was wearing. You okay there, buddy? Ah! 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 Right. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. That's the same one you gave yesterday. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> He's crazy. One awfully complicated incident. Game Bullard was blackmailing Luke Atme, who was in turn blackmailing Ron Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke Atme tried to frame Ron Delight. Then he claimed to be guilty as Master Mask in order to escape his true crime. And to the, that end, he came up with this plan. To use the Double Jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Mm -hmm. At any rate, it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me. 
Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why wouldn't he be? I'm about the verdict. I know, you never committed any murder. That's right, I'm so glad you understand that, but... I, um... I really am Master Mask. Huh? So thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? You're innocent of the Korean village one. Um... That is what you said, double jeopardy? This is- it's a different crime. You, that's- you can't be charged for the exact- the same crime. The crime that we were charging you with yesterday was the stealing of this vase. We can charge you with the crimes of stealing the Tear of Amon, Crown of Bongoria, Left Hand of Hades, and Portrait of Magina, because you've just admitted that you are, indeed, Master Mask. So, that's what I want to charge you with. You were found innocent of the charge of stealing the treasure, exhibit, and urn. I didn't... you weren't charged for all of the crimes. Now that you mention it, I've been careless. Careless? What do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was found innocent. Yeah, you're not being char tri tried for being master mask in... You're not being charged for the crime of st grand larceny in the treasure exhibit. You weren't being charged with that in the other ones. Then Master Mask is really innocent? For now. It would seem so. For now? Now then, this court finds the defendant. Not guilty. Again, he... These are different crimes. Whatever. Wait, this really is lucky. Wait, uh, I, uh... That isn't so good after all. You see, the thing is, I still am Master Mask after all. Again, he can be charged with the grand larceny and other stuff. Like, that's like saying, like, oh, a serial killer was found innocent on one of his murders. That means he's, he can't be charged with any of the other ones. No, that's stupid. It's different evidence for that different thing. Because we have evidence that points to him being the killer. He also has his known word of damning evidence. You did it, Nick. Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call on me th much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so serious. Well, on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of lost the these days. I mean about becoming the master of the Korean channeling school. Becoming the master I means saying goodbye to our mother. You mean Misty Fett. Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Oh, Mr. Wright. Am I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Deloitte. Thank you so much. No, 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 wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all of this has happened. Come on, just be happy already, Mario. You've been cleared in the murder charges, and you got off as Master Mask to boot. In exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you, what do you mean? Stealing security information from KV Security, becoming Master Mask. I did it all for one reason, for her. You mean your wife, uh, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she once held a hostage, uh, was held hostage, hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that, I knew that, but... Once I got fired from KV Security, lost all of the money I had. She wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Master Mask? Yes, but it's all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together. That's not true, right, Nick? Yep, it can't be put together. Nope, it's failure. I have to take care of your wife for you. Right, you definitely shouldn't get a divorce. Really, can we get back, go back to the way things were? You'll be fine, and Nick can prove it. I can. I kind of wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there is a way to put it back together. Oh, hey, this thing, right? Take that. Take the sacred urn? Desi was the one who found this. Desi, your wife, she's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. I have a question. If I had said, like, just something random and everything can't be put together, is it possible they just wouldn't get together? That would be... Awful. Awful, awful, awful. 
Ah, there you are. Mr. Lion. You did it, Ronnie. You're innocent. I'm so happy. Thank you. I appreciate that. But, um, uh, I suppose you don't want anything more to do with me, do you? Ronnie, why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit to KB security. I never imagined that you were really Master Mask either. Uh, Miss Delight, what are you going to do now that now that you know? You're not going to leave him, are you? Please leave him, please leave him, please leave him, please leave him. Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? Why? After all, my bike's really fast. So fast, there's no way he could ever get away. Uh, but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Oh! I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. He is cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. Why Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he committed them, like a man. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. So chivalrous? Chivalrous? I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Desi. Desi, you really do love Ron, don't you? And I'm going to... Oh, hi. Nicky boy. Yes. I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Uh, well, uh, take care of yourself. If he ever fucks up, I'm one call away. You too, Nicky boy. Oh, I can feel my face going red. Mr. Nick, Mystic Mike, congratulations. I'm throwing you out the window. Go away. What? Talk about bad timing. Please. Mr. Nick, how could you? With another man's wife in front of Mystic Maya. No, 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 you got it wrong. I'll never forgive you. Never, ever. Why? I was so close. So just as the case came to a close, so did, too did my consciousness. Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Here's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. The stolen turnabout. The end. Awesome. Brand new episode has been added. Recipe for turnabout. Save.